Hey guys, Connor here. Um, sorry about the delay of uploading. Uh, a bit's been going on recently, so yeah. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. So, create package uk.conorad.platformer. Well, the package can be whatever you want, but I've got a domain of conorad.uk. Let me just pull it up. Yes, yeah, so basically it's the. It's basically the extension <coughs> of the actual thing. Uh, last. So, yeah. So, that's my. Oops. Right. So, we'll be doing the game class and drawing stuff to it. So, let's just make the game. So, basically, we need to create some variables first. Oh, actually, no. First, we need to do the author, just so that it's better. <laughs> so, private stat uh, static final in my width will be 640 private static final int height equals 480 and private static final string title equals let's just set it to I forgot bear with me one second There we go. Right. Um, to the platform. And now, last but not least, profit, private static final int FPS cap. Let's just limit to 60. So, in case you didn't know, um, private is second so only access within the game class. Stat oh. Static is where it can only be accessed in a static method such as public static void main final which is basically so it can't be edited anymore than it in, in strings just like the variable <coughs> you may notice that like everything that begin is final um, has a capital like full capital name if you know what I mean so width has it height has it voice crack FPS cap has it yeah Basically, every it's like a convention. Basically, so we need to do public static void main rib string. Basically, this is the method that will get called to actually when you actually start a program. Set title. Oh, no. Display dot set display mode new display mode width and height. So rather than just like putting stuff like display dot set so like that width the height you can just put. I know because it sets the display mode to a new variable that isn't actually defined as thing. Anyway, right. Um, so create the frame. And now we need to do while display dot is not close requested. So as long as the person doesn't click the um, close button, keep doing this as fast as you can. And now we're going to do set camera in a minute. Display the update, and then display dot sync FPS cap. So basically that will synchronise it so it can only run. 60 FPS. So now let's do this display dot destroy. <coughs> so when it is, it will just destroy it. So set camera private static void set camera. Right. 
So, this is where we need to do something called um, open jail. Um, importing static, right? Import, no, not no. Ooh, awkward position. There we go. Or dot language of game library dot open gl dot g11 dot star. So I'll import it then so you can use it as if it were your own in your own method. Uh, so we just need to go through exception. There we go. So for the set camera, we need to go. We need to clear the screen first. So gel clear, gel color buffer bit. And then we actually need to modify the projection matrix. Um, gel matrix mode. Gel projection. So if you can hear the fun in the background, it's quite high in my room. Is Right, so load the identity and then GL ortho <coughs> zero width just rather than putting six forty height forty minus one one. So there we go. Now we need to modify the model view matrix GL matrix mode GL model view. GL load identity. Right, so that's the camera set done. So basically, um, what we've got is, let's just run it. My goal, my other monitor. Yep, it's gone my other monitor, and that's gone to there. Right. Okay then. Yeah, so that's just a blank screen environment. So what we need to do is we actually need to draw something to it. So we'll go back into our loop and add draw background. We won't be messing around with textures, so we'll just draw the textures in code because I find it a bit easier private private static voids oh. draw background so this might get a little bit complicated but yeah right so we need to do the sky we need to draw that gl begin gl quads now you can either do that, or you can just like write the code like that. But personally, I prefer to do this because it looks a bit neater. It's easier to understand. So, geo color 3D. Um, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.9. That'll set the color. Right. Geo vertex 2D. 0, 0. Geo vertex 2D. Width zero. Gl. Right. Yeah. Gl color three D. Five six. Five six nine. So. Gl vertex two D. Width height. Geo vertex 2D zero height. Right. So that's the sky dome. So now, if we run that, it will. Well, it should come up with a blue background. Blue background. And it hasn't at the moment. 
and just check see if it fins are on. Draw back around, draw back around. Ah, no, yep, I know why. You need to end it there. <laughs> now it should work. There we go. So that's the kind of gradient we've got for the sky now. So, yeah, now we need to get on to drawing the ground. Right. Common ground. Gel begin. Gel. Quads. Oh no. Wrong. Wrong one. Right. So now what we need to do? Gel color. 3D, 0 0.6, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Right. Yeah, so. Gel vertex 2D, 0, 0. And then gel vertex 2D width and 0. Gel vertex 2D Oh wait, yeah. Six forty, which is width. Thirty two. But then we need to do this. Just like make it a little bit neater. Rather than just like a block of coding one thing. Oh hang on. I just spice it. There we go. You don't have to do that but yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh so I see. Okay. Gel vertex two D zero and height so oh no 32 <laughs> gel end so now if we have a look at that ignore that right so now if you have a look at it There you go, that's the ground. So, now we're on just making it a little bit better at a layer of grass. Double S. Right. Otherwise, it would just be like ground. Oh, brown, like boring. Geo quads. Right. Geo color 3D. 3D stands for three doubles. So like and 0 0.5, 0 0.4 and stuff. So um 0 0.2, 0 0.8 and 0 0.2. That should do it. Right. Geo vertex 2D 0 0.25. GL vertex 2D 640, I think that's width. Yeah. Right. Width. Where was that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that. So now, gel vertex. 2D. Width. 32. Gel vertex 2D. 0, 32. And then we need to go GL end. So look at that, a hundred lines of code, and what well, all we've done so far is this. Add a little layer of grass, and our player will be here, drawn in code. So. Actually, let's check how many lines it actually is. I've just organised the imports. 111 lines of code for that. Oh, that's quite well. Um, so, in the next episode, I think we'll be doing the player. Um, so, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.